Hey, what's going on guys? Brett here. And I want to talk about something that I learned that's super helpful. If you if you are playing a game on your phone, or if you're having to do a series of, of clicks on your phone, so some repetitive series of clicks that's the same each time, there's an easy way to do it. And uh, if we and the way to do it is setting up macros on Android simulators. So uh, hopefully you guys have some idea about this. But if, if not, I'm going to talk you through the whole thing because it's actually really easy. If I can do it, you can do it. So I use Knox Player. And so Knox Player it basically is like running your phone on a computer. So, so it's really, really awesome. Pretty much any phone app that is on Android you can get on Knox Player. Like, like uh, Knox Player, it has like Google Play, so you can install anything from Google Play. So I play Final Fantasy a lot, and in this game, we've gotten to a point that I have to do a series of clicks hundreds and hundreds of times. And it's super, super repetitive, like your fingers get sore, you're sitting there just clicking, clicking, clicking. Well, you don't have to do that, guys. There's a way around it. And uh, the way around it is setting up these macros. So it's going to record the series of clicks, and then I can loop it forever. So, <laughs> so let's do this, guys. So this is Knox Player again. If we click the three arrows on the side here, it pulls up the toolbar. So on this toolbar, there's a ton of different stuff. You only have to know what one is, and that's this icon here. It's the mouse with the, the dots and the square with the place I'm in the middle. So we're going to click that, and this is our macro recorder, guys. I'll set it over here on the right. This is how we're going to record the series of clicks and then play it back. So it's real simple. There's three buttons. Uh, the one that we're going to focus on, we need that this play symbol right in the middle here and then we're going to have to hit the stop symbol after we do our series of clicks so we'll hit the play now we want to train a bunch of troops so we click on the troop click instant train and click yes and that's the series of clicks that I have to do hundreds of times so now we'll come over here we'll click stop and this is our script so this this recorded the three clicks that we just did uh, and to have it run this series of clicks, all we have to do is click the plus sign here, and it's going to do these clicks for us. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so it's that easy, guys. It is that easy. Uh, and now if you want it to play multiple times, you can loop it ten times. You can. What I do is I just loop it until stop button is pressed. So I click that, click save. It now updated this series of... of uh, I don't even know the terminology for this, guys. If I can do this, you guys definitely can. So it updated the script. I guess that's what it's called. Now we'll hit the plus. Uh, the plus. Man, if I can do this, guys, you guys definitely can. We hit the play symbol, and it's just going to keep doing that series of clicks until I hit the pause. So it's that easy, guys. Now, a couple things to note is you need it on the screen that it's going to be at to do the series of clicks. So every time... It does these three clicks, it gets back to this screen. So I have it set up that that's like where where I started recording the uh, the macro. So it's just going to keep going, guys, uh, <laughs> until I tell it to stop or until the screen shifts. Now, sometimes something might happen that if you accidentally click, like if I click back here, it's going to keep doing those three clicks until I stop it here. So you have to be careful. It, It'll go rogue on you if uh, one thing I've noticed, like if somebody in my guild on this game does a rally, a pop-up will come on the screen, and sometimes it'll click that, and then all hell breaks loose, guys. All hell will break loose because it doesn't know to stop clicking because the screen has changed. So uh, you got to be careful. I would just let it run. I would do this like loop until stop, and then just observe it. And if anything gets out of whack, hit the pause sign real quick because uh, that'll stop it. And another thing is uh, make sure you hit the stop up here because if you don't hit the stop up here it'll like loop the loop and it just doesn't end that way. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's let it run for a while. And Oh man guys, this is going to save so much time. It's going to be great for transferring resources in, in this game. It's going to be great for building troops. Uh, you know, there's so many so many uses for the macros. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, if I didn't explain this very well, I'm sorry. Uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll try to respond to it. But, uh, you know, look at this, guys. It's going to save your fingers. This is going to save your mind. Uh, <laughs> now for, for um, Final Fantasy, 
you need to make sure you have enough resources open because it'll it'll mess it up if if you don't if you run out of resources it'll mess it up so make sure you have enough resources open and also uh, you know make sure you, you have enough gold and and be careful like if you walk away it's just going to keep going it could it'll go till all your gold is gone i mean not for me because i have so much but for a lot of people it'll just keep going <laughs> so so yeah guys i can just sit back have this plan watch a movie right have it on the side maybe and just just kick it, train some troops. Now, uh, I'm going to drop some more knowledge on you guys. This is a farm account, so I have multiple accounts in the same game. And uh, I've been building troops on this account and attacking it with my main account to get free XP. So I just have this running, and then uh, you know every five minutes when I get a couple million troops, I'll attack it. Uh, all the troops will die, and then it'll just keep going. But but on my main account, you know, I'll still be just just plugging away, doing whatever. So macros are awesome, guys. Uh, you can set up a macro for anything. So let's just go ahead and do this. Let's pause the macro. Let's close this out. And uh, let's try to do something that would be more complicated. Uh, maybe we don't want to go more complicated yet. OK, so I'm going to delete this macro just to, to free up space. So refresh again. Now let's say we want to transfer resources to this guy here. So so we got my buddy here and if we want to transfer resources so we click the, the record we click him resource help now let's let's send him 65,000 energy and boom so now let's let's pause that actually let's stop that and save the script. So now we have our script here let's see if it works I don't know why it wouldn't work, but look at that. So now we can send resources without having to do any clicks. Uh, we can loop that indefinitely. Now, one problem we might run into is for something like that, I only have so many marches. So if my march fills up, the screen might shift. And if the screen shifts, all help can break loose pretty quick. So be ready to always, always X out of this. Uh, or if you really have to, if, if you screw this up too badly, just close out of the game. And, uh, you know, the script will close out with Nox player. So that's one thing you can do. If things just get chaos, just, just close out quick. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'd recommend always observing it, always making sure, because you never know when that series of clicks can go rogue on you. Like if, if a pop-up pops up on the screen, oh man, be ready to be ready to close out or hit stop or do what you have to do. But that's going to be super helpful, guys. Oh, man. Uh, I have to thank my, my guild mate, Sassy. Uh, I was telling her I, I was getting tired of clicking, and she's like, why don't you just set up a macro? And I have never even heard of a macro, guys. I've been, I've been using Nox for over a year now. No idea what a macro is. Uh, but as soon as she said that, I thought, I should probably, like, I immediately thought, okay, macro, that's probably, you could probably record a series of clicks, because that would make sense. Like, that explained... You know, I have no idea what a macro was, but I'm guessing it was a series of clicks just based on the context that she used it in the sentence. And uh, sure enough, I was looking at the toolbar here, and I saw that macro recorder. And I thought, well, I guess I need to, I guess I need to try this thing out, try to figure it out, because we're at that point in the game. I could be clicking all day. I could click all day in this game and not even get done what I need to get done. So. Uh, Yes, I can be clicking all day in this game and not even get done what I need to get done. So this this macro recorder is going to save me big time. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Uh, it, you can use this on any game. You could use this on any app, assuming that the series of clicks is the same and assuming that it always takes you back to the same screen to start the series of clicks. So for me, I need, it, I need this screen centered and I need it to always be back at the same screen to keep doing the series of clicks. Otherwise you know, things get out of whack and it'll just start, it'll keep doing that same series of clicks regardless of the screen. So I'm rambling on, it's really not that difficult. I could have made this video in a minute, but here I am just, just uh, you know, babbling on. So that's it guys, hope you, uh, hope you have some fun, hope you guys are doing good, and I'm out of here.